Welcome to the final section of the Mutation Surveyor webinar, Working with your Mutation Surveyor project in the Graphical Analysis Display. The three-part webinar series covers the full functionalities of the Graphical Analysis Display, or GAD. This third and final section will delve into the editing process that can be accomplished using the GAD. Prior to viewing this webinar, please make sure you are already familiar with the basic layout and description of the GAD, including the sample traces pane which is covered in part one and part two of this series. It is strongly recommended to watch these previous sections before continuing to part three. The graphical analysis display, or GAD, can be used not only to review your project, but also to edit variant calls for a given sample. New variant calls for substitutions and homozygous indels may be added and existing variant calls may be edited, confirmed, or deleted. Comments added to specific variant calls provide additional customization to the project. Finally, base call editing in the trace files can help correct sequencing errors. Reprocessing the edited files can sometimes assist in producing a larger comparison region to extend automatic variant detection. Now let's take a look at how the GAD can be used to work with the mutation calls for a sample. New mutation calls can be manually added to your project using the mutation trace. Add a substitution event such as a low frequency variant indicated by the 2D small peak bar by right clicking the appropriate mutation peak at the location of the variant you would like to add and then select add substitution. Use the add substitution dialog to confirm the mutation call and add any custom annotation and or comments and then click OK. The mutation call will then appear. To add a homozygous indel, hold the control keyboard button and then use the left mouse button to click on the mobility line that runs along the middle of the mutation trace at the location at which you would like to add the indel event. Again, using the dialog that opens to add your desired call and any custom annotation and click OK. This will result in the addition of the indel event. Working with the existing calls can be done in the bottom mutation table pane. To edit an existing variant call, right-click the call in the mutation table and select one of the options from the context menu that appears. Selecting Edit will open either the Edit Substitution dialog or Edit Indel dialog, depending on the type of call selected. Please note that a substitution may only be edited as a substitution and an indel may only be edited as an indel. To change the type of variant called, such as from a substitution to an indel, the original call should first be deleted and then the preferred variant type added. Mutation calls can also be confirmed or deleted. Confirming the call results in the text color of the call turning black. Deleting a call will result in a gray text color in the mutation table. If all of the requirements have been met, when attempting to delete a call, the option to delete and add to database will appear in the context menu. This option can be selected to add this deletion to your user knowledge database as either a false positive or artifact for future tracking. Please view the user knowledge database webinar for additional information on this step. The addition and editing of any heterozygous indel call should always be performed within the heterozygous indel detection tool. All calls made to a mutation can be viewed in the edit history, which will become enabled in the calls context menu after an edit is made. The edit history records the timestamp for when the edit occurred, computer location, user, and type of edit. In addition to editing mutation calls, the GAD allows for editing of base calls of the reference and sample traces. To edit a base call, right-click in the trace to edit and select Edit Base. In the window that appears above the trace, left-click the desired position and edit as necessary. When done, close the window using the X in the right corner and then confirm to save your changes. The analysis will not be reprocessed unless selected to do so. An option also exists for saving these edited files. This concludes our webinar series on utilizing the graphical analysis display in Mutation Surveyor software. For more information or to request a free 35-day trial, please visit softgenetics.com or send an email to info at softgenetics.com. All technical inquiries can be sent via email to our technical support group at tech 
underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you for joining me and please check the description of this video for links to all of the related webinars referenced today.